Hi, reception. Fantastic to see you again. Okay, so the last lesson um, is going to be me reading you one of my favourite stories from my favourite author, Julia Donaldson. Okay, now I have chosen Cave Baby. Hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Cave Babe is lucky. He lives inside a cave with his mum, who's good at painting, and his dad, who's very brave, and a saber-toothed tiger, a hyena, and a hare, and a grey woolly mammoth, and a big brown bear. Cave babe is lonely. Nobody will play. Dad is busy being brave. Mum says keep away. Everything is boring. Then suddenly it's time. For in a corner of the cave, he finds a brush and pot. Pots. On a hyena, stripes on a hare, stars on a tiger, squiggles on a bear, zigzags on the mammoth. This is lots of fun. But mom and dad are furious. They say, look what he's done. Cave mum fetches water. She mutters and she wipes. No more spots and squiggles, no more stars and stripes. Cave dad wags his finger. If you don't take care, a mammoth's going to throw you to the big brown bear. Cave babe is restless. He's feeling wide awake. A long grey trunk comes sneaking in, all wiggly like a snake. Where are you taking me? Where? Tell me where. Are you going to throw me to the big brown bear? Stripes in the forest, a tiger's lurking there. Don't throw me to the tiger or the big brown bear. Crashing in the bushes, a hare is leaping there. Maybe he's escaping from the big brown bear. A crack in the bracken, a hyena's laughing there. Has he heard a joke about the big brown bear? A cave in the hillside, I wonder who lives there. I hope it's not, don't let it be the big brown bear. The cave is bright with moonlight, the walls are plain and bare. Snoring in the shadows, someone sleeping there. Cave babe is worried, he doesn't understand until the woolly mammoth pops a paintbrush in his hand. A five-legged tiger, a long curly hair, horns on a hyena, a beard on a bear, a moustache on a mammoth. This is lots of fun. Then the mammoth wakes his family and says, look what he's done. And they rollick and they frolic, they trumpet and they crash, they wade into the water, they roll and romp and splash. They shake the baby by the hand, then, then lift their trunks and wave as the mammoth picks him up again and takes him to his cave. Cave babe is happy. He's fast asleep in bed. He dreams about a tiger with stripes of pink and red and the grass green hyena and a sky blue hair and a moon yellow mammoth and a small brown bear. Fantastic. I hope you enjoyed that story of the cave baby. So now what I would like you to do is either go and choose your favourite story and read it to your teacher 
or if you want to, maybe you could dress up and act out your favourite story and see if your teacher can guess which story you are acting out. I can't wait to listen to your stories or see you acting your stories out. You take care. Bye bye.